Warfare, or Easy Robot. Right now we're setting up a booth, ready to do this. Robots getting ready for the show. All the robots see uh, survive the uh, trip, and yeah, nothing's broken. It's supposed to be a box. We'll find out soon if it is a box or not. Here we go. It's, uh, it's a beauty. booths around here. They all sort out 10 by 10 like us. Busy days, a couple long days, but we're really excited, really looking forward to it. The rest of the team is working on putting the robots together. So Jason's programming out Rolly, he's got some arms on him, he's gonna give him some pretty cool movements. And Jeremy's working on JD and his eyes, and Corey's working on some more design files. And I have no idea what DJ's doing. He's just going just like, rogue, just going like, rogue, as per usual. Busy. <laughs> JD without the back of his head, and this weird contraption is a programmer. It's a programmer for the microchip PIC, and it allows us to, uh, to upload code. Well, I'll tell you the truth, I'm kind of nervous about tomorrow. It's the first day of the International Flight Fair, and there's all these huge companies that are going to be there and strutting their stuff. And we got our 10x10 booth, and we're going to be showing our stuff too. I like to think like everyone here, I think we're a little bit nervous. It's intimidating because we are such a small company and we may have an amazing product with an amazing community that backs us with an amazing technology, but we're a small company so we don't have a flash. For us, we're going in with, with a lot of energy, a lot of passion and um, a lot of a lot of confidence in our in, in our hard work, and I think I think uh, people will respect that, and it's going to pay off. Competing with the big dogs, and it's going to be good. I think that uh, we're probably going to surprise a lot of people. So it's day one, so this is the first day of the toy fair, and uh, we got our booth set up, and it's much smaller than everyone else's, but uh, you know, we're out here in full force showing off our robots. So the team is getting along really well. We've been doing awesome at the show. Uh, we're working off each other, trying to get our pitch honed down. We're working with each other, developing new robots on the fly, new dance maneuvers. It's been getting pretty good. We're getting a great number of feedback. Like People are coming through and everyone's super excited to see what we're working on, what we've created. It's awesome to see people's faces light up and when they see these robots move. The reaction for Reezy Robot from people is pretty surprising. 
for, in their perspective, it's very surprising because they've never seen something like this, this quality of a product that can do so much. It's doing things that people weren't expecting robots to have ever done before. They're talking to people, the robots are interacting with people, uh, their robots are being controlled by phones. You know, it's, it's definitely setting the bar for robotics. They like the way the robots look, the personality. They do really like the expandability of the, the robots and seeing that you can actually you know, clip and play the different robots together. I think people are surprised about how small the camera is. Just a little, it's like almost the size of a quarter. People are mind blown. They're, they're stunned that this product can exist. And especially at the price point. I mean, people are expecting you to get the average person guessing that our product's gonna be in the thousand, two thousand dollar range. And when we tell them that it's coming in under five hundred dollars, people are just dumbfounded. This technology even exists. I think a lot of toy companies are taking notice of us and they're wondering how we created such a thing with such a small team. So that's, that's great to receive that kind of feedback. It is finally the end of day number one. People are slowly starting to leave the event. Uh, we're tired. I mean, last night we were up until 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning putting robots together, last final touches, and uh, they worked. Everything worked. You can see the booth turned out well. The robots are here. We've got some robots behind, some robots on the ground. Um, tons of people have been coming around asking questions. And now that it's the end of the day, I'm looking forward to going home and, all oh, right, I have meetings and events to attend tonight. I'm not going back to the hotel. I'm going out for drinks, I'm going for dinner, and I'm going out for socializing. And uh, I'm excited about that. But man, uh, I have three more days of this. So it's gonna be interesting to see what the next three days are like, what are gonna look like tomorrow. scope is just massive. I didn't realize how big some of these booths would be. Just seeing how, you know, uh, Tommy or Mattel or all these toy companies are here is strutting their stuff and it, it's amazing to see like how big of a scope and how, how much money they put into a show like this. It's as big as I thought, but bigger. First two days I was exploring around one massive floor and then today I realized there's an entire other floor that's the same size. It's just, it's huge. Coming into the show, we, we knew we had a 10 by 10 booth. We're a startup company. We don't have the marketing budgets that some of these other companies do. So, I mean, it, it is intimidating, but at the same point in time, all of these other companies started somewhere as well. So we all had that starting point. We all grew from, from the bottom. And the team stuck together. We, we cranked it out. We, we act and we talk and we, we interact with all of these other guys just like we're any other company here in one of the massive 60 by 40 foot booths. The media has been a bit of a surprise. I didn't expect as much uh, since there's a lot of bigger companies here. We were featured last night in io9 which was just it's a big tech blog. We were named one of the top companies of the toy fair. So today's been jam-packed with press. We've just been talking non-stop to 
tons of people from all these different articles from all across the country. Uh, we came with a few forms for resellers and retailers to fill out if they wanted to order parts from us and we brought a few hundred of them thinking that you know we might have too many. <laughs> it turned out we didn't have enough, we ran out as soon as we got featured on these different uh, websites. This weekend we made a lot of connections not only with press but with different companies as well really expanding our reach into different markets and different demographics as well. I thought it was just going to be black and white business, but there's a lot of people running different shows and, and just lots of networking opportunities. Already we've had the CEOs and CTOs of other robotics, interesting technical groups come and talk with us. So there's a lot of collaboration opportunities that are coming up out of this event. We've talked to some really big companies. Uh, they seem to be really interested, which is really rewarding as an engineer that uh, this thing that you've created is, is well received by some well respected companies. It definitely has given me a lot of satisfaction that uh, these, com these companies that I've shopped at and that everyone shops at wants part of what, what I'm doing. Not only was it just resellers and distributors, which I thought was going to be the main reason for for coming down here. I mean, there's been so much into education. We found that a ton of STEM educators doing junior high, high school, and university are super attracted to the products. They make sense, and they want to see them in universities. It was really neat to see all these people come into our booth and, you know, really engage our, our robots and, and get it. And just, you know, that's, that's the biggest part, that they get it. To me, that's important. The weekend has been exhausting. My feet hurt, my calves hurt, my knees hurt, I mean, things that I didn't even know I could hurt, hurt. So this is the end of the week. This is the end of the trip. This is the end of everything, but it's the beginning of a lot of great things that are gonna be starting to happen with us. So I think this is the inception point. Everything is changing. So we're gonna have to come home and then start following up with some of the contacts we made up here at the show. It is a new beginning. We, uh, we've got a lot of companies to contact and, and, and a lot of avenues to see where they go. This, this weekend totally changed my expectations. Uh, we've been to a few other events in the past, like Maker Fair and you know a few local events for Startup Calgary and etc. So we we're familiar with showing off our stuff. That's not a problem. But for here, we weren't expecting as much business, and we weren't expecting the people, the quality of people we've been speaking to here. They truly get our technology. They truly get where we're going with robotics. And the companies that we are dealing with now and establishing partnerships with just over the past three days is amazing. It's great to be appreciated and respected to this extent.